in today's video we will be talking about index drawing which is uh, one of the techniques used to reduce amount of memory needed to pass data from CPU to GPU. Now, why should you care? Well, let's take a look at the rendering pipeline that we have been using so far. First, on CPU side, we were aggregating vertices, in our case, triangle vertices, to pass them on GPU, and then on GPU we had this vertex and fragment shaders to help it display it um, on screen. In order to pass data from CPU to GPU, computers use memory. And uh, data is being sent there using this data buses, which is essentially just uh, wires on a chip. And it turns out that in interactive computer graphics, one of the biggest bottlenecks is the throughput of these data buses. What is throughput? It is a how many bytes of data data bus can transmit per unit of time. Let's say if you render something at 60 frames per second, then you have about 15 milliseconds to execute this entire rendering pipeline. And if you pass too much data from CPU to GPU, then you can hit this bottleneck of data bus throughput really quickly. Let's say you have 15 milliseconds to execute an entire rendering pipeline and maybe you pass in so much data that it takes you like 30 milliseconds to for data to arrive on GPU. And then in that case, even before GPU starts doing its work, you already halved your FPS. So this is huge. And this problem has been around for a very long time, actually. And there is a number of techniques to help with it. And today we will be looking at probably one of the most foundational ones, which is um, index drawing. So let's begin. In the end of today's video, we will have this image rendered on screen. As you see, this is simply a two triangles which share one side. Nothing fancy, right? But it, today's video not about what we draw, it's more about how we draw it. So where do we begin? Let's jump into Xcode. And we will start with the project that we finished last time, where we just rendered a animated triangle. First of all, let's remove the animation entirely. For that in renderer, we remove the timer property. In the renderer uh, header, we remove the property as well. Then inside draw frame method, we remove this one. And in shaders, we also remove timer argument and instead of doing all this we simply return this let's see what it does okay build failed right we also need to remove this okay now it succeeded we have just a static triangle does you remember on the the window that I showed you before, it had triangles that were that didn't have the background. They only had so-called wireframe view, which essentially just a line connecting the vertices. So how do we do that? In draw frame method, we can use set triangle fill mode method and 
we can use triangle fill mode lines in order to just uh, render wireframe view okay so now we have that one triangle and in the final result as you remember we have another triangle rendered um, adjacent to it so how do we do that as usual let's start with triangle vertices so this is the target that we want to render and um, here is the vertex coordinates so this is one triangle and this is another triangle so how do we implement it the naive approach would be to simply add more vertices to our array that we had why don't we do that for example this would be one triangle we can add vertices for the second triangle so this is one triangle vertices this is second triangle vertices so the next thing to do is to adjust our draw primitives call because in this call we specify how many vertices we want to render in our case that would be six right because we add another triangle so we will be drawing six vertices another thing that we need to adjust is how much memory we allocate for our buffer that we will use to pass vertices to GPU before we had nine floats and now we have twice as many which is 18 for two triangles now let's try to run it and we see the target that we wanted to render all good right well not necessarily as you might have noticed we actually declaring two same vertices twice this vertex and this vertex it is present for both second triangle and the first triangle and that is where we run into this problem when we use too much memory and there is a technique to reduce this amount so how do we do that we could just um, use an array of vertices of unique vertices and in our case it's just four vertices it's just uh, this 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 and this right those are the only ones in addition to that we could have a array of so-called indices that we actually use to declare which vertices we use we use for which triangles so in our case to declare first triangle which is uh, this one bigger one we use vertexes at index 0 1 and 2 so those are the three vertices for that bigger triangle and then for the second smaller triangle we use vertexes at indexes 0 two and three and that way we can pass this data to gpu uh, with less memory but is it really so let's run some calculations so if we pass data as we did originally we will have to use 72 bytes of memory why is that because we have 18 floats 
18 floats total and size of each float is 4 bytes. Therefore, we will we have to use 72 bytes. In case of approach with indexes, we will only need to use 60 bytes. Why is that? Now we, when it comes to vertices, we're only passing 12 floats, 4 bytes each, which is 48 bytes. But we're also passing indices, 6 of them, and we used u-short, which is just a type alias for unsigned short, which is just a, each unsigned short is 2 bytes of size, and we have 6 of them. And therefore, we have 12 bytes to store indices, and we have 48 bytes to store vertices. And then, as you see, we saved 12 bytes. This might seem silly to you, because in my example, savings are very minor. But if you pass a lot of triangles, hundreds or you know, millions of triangles, then your savings will be quite profound. You could say that savings grow exponentially with the number of triangles you pass to GPU. So this is a very, very important technique that is almost an industry standard. It is so common that APIs like Metal they even have a separate draw calls which assume that you are using index drawing. So in our case, instead of calling draw primitives, we can call draw index primitives. And there is number of overloads and the one we could use is this one, one of the simpler ones. So in our case, we will still be drawing triangles. How many indexes do we have? It is um, size of indices array, index type, metal supports two different types, short and int, either two byte or four byte um, integer. In our case, we are using two byte integer, therefore we should use uint16 one. And then it also asks us to provide pointer to buffer with indexes and index buffer offset. We don't have those yet, so let's create them. So we will use the similar approach we did with vertex buffer. We will create a unique pointer And in our case, we will just use a different array. In our case, we use elements of the array is u short. We need to use that. How many of them we should probably yes, use in this size. In the same way, we need to access this data both on CPU and GPU. And uh, we have our custom destructor here. Now we need to specify this buffer in draw index primitives method arguments. We use raw pointer to index buffer and index buffer offset we start with from the beginning. Therefore it's zero. Another thing we need to do we change the um, array name of vertices. We adapt it here. We need to say again, let's just use this to allocate proper amount of memory for them. And that should really be all. Let's try to run it. And as you can see, we have our 
target image on screen. There is one more thing that I wanted to talk about and that is how we actually pass uh, indexes to GPU. It is very different uh, compared to vertices. Um, with vertices what we did we put them into the buffer and we set vertex buffer here um, and that way our vertices will be accessible on GPU side whereas with indices we did create the buffer where we put our indices but then instead of setting the buffer as we did with vertices we pass them directly as an argument to draw indexed primitives method call. In addition to that What's different is that after we switched to index drawing, our shaders didn't change at all. And notice that nowhere in our shaders do we receive the indices from CPU. That is very unique for data that is being passed to GPU. Normally, any data we will be passing, we will create a buffer on CPU side and then we will receive it on GPU side, much like we do, we do with vertices, but indices is a very unique in this in this regard because we only pass them to GPU as method arguments to draw index primitives, and after that, GPU just handles everything on its own. GPU is smart enough to figure out how to use them to identify the triangles that we want to use. GPU never exposes those indices to us on um, GPU side of things. So that's very, very unique. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.